I've got to drive across town and can FSD beta take me door to door? Let's find out. So I have my destination put in and it is 18 minutes and seven miles away and I'm sitting in my work parking lot and will it get us there? Well, now that it's plugged in, see I can't engage. So technically I can't go door to door. I've got to back out of this space manually. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and engage. And we are on our way. So far, this is FSD beta 10.69.2.4, I think. And for me, in this area where I live in Iowa, it has been pretty good. Not sure why we stopped this far away from the line. It's creeping up. Visualization continues to get better and better. I mean, look at all of those cars that it can see. It's quite amazing. All right, we have a green light. Now here is one problem with FSD that continues to be a problem. It has nothing to do with the car's ability to drive on the road. It has to do with the fact that there's a problem with the navigation and the maps. It wants us to make a right-hand turn up here and then an immediate left-hand turn. You used to be able to do that, but you can't do that anymore because they changed the road. And now it's actually trying to get off and go to Hy-Vee grocery store, which is not what it needs to do. So get confused from that right turn to this right turn. So it says so far we have one disengagement and I'm going to go ahead and go through here and take this turn which is on our map but according to the navigation doesn't exist. I'm going to have to manually take us through this intersection here and now I can re-engage. So that's one of the pain points of FSD beta right now is that when the navigation maps don't jive with what reality is, you really can't trust what the car is going to do. Also, if you're new to watching FSD beta videos and, and think that FSD is completely hands-off and RoboTaxi, it is not. Um, it's not like I can sit there and like read a book or drink my soda while, while browsing on my phone. Um, that's not a thing. Um, there is a camera that is up here above my rear view mirror that is watching me and watching my face and making sure that I'm paying attention to the road. And it is pretty diligent at doing that. In fact, if I'm messing around with the climate controls or trying to change the music station or switch something on the screen or navigate just a little too long, I get that dreaded yelling at me, hey, pay attention to the road. So that is something that you just you just can't tune out in fact when you're using fsd beta right now it feels on many levels that you actually almost have to pay attention even more than if you're just driving manually the other thing is you still have to tell it that you're here by putting weight or pressure on the steering wheel and you can't go more than about 30 seconds before it starts uh getting a little grouchy at you so right now i've let go and the first indication that you're gonna have is it's gonna say, hey, are you still there? Move the steering wheel. There it is. There it is. Now, if I don't notice that, then you get the blue bar. If I still don't touch the steering wheel, it's gonna yell at me with a audible beep. And you've already heard one of them on this trip. There it is. I give it a little nudge. I actually gave it a little too much nudge. I won't call that a disengagement. 
Another thing where the nav fails is it's going to go straight through this intersection and this didn't used to be a roundabout. It is a roundabout now. It has trouble figuring out how to do this roundabout because frankly it's not on the navigation. So it gets there and it's like, oh, this isn't what I expected. So let me figure out what's going to happen here. So we're come barreling into this. I'm going to have to break out. Doesn't know what to do. Go through this roundabout. Again, the navigation is wrong. I have done other roundabouts and it has handled other roundabouts when the navigation knows it's. So, so far on this drive, we've got two disengagements all in the last 10 minutes. Um, and the two disengagements were entirely due to poor judgments due to the navigation, with maybe the exception of that first one when it tried to go into the grocery store. Um, but generally on roads like this, full self-driving is rock solid. Left hand turn coming up here. We have a light. Does a good job with. Whoa, I don't know what that was. <laughs> Wasn't quite sure what it was doing. A little swish, swaying back and forth, trying to figure out where to go in the lane, but it figured it out. And now we are. Right, we have a bicyclist on the right hand side. What's it gonna do? You can seize it in the visualization. We'll get over. It is getting over to the left a little bit, actually crossing the yellow line as you would expect a normal human being to do. That was good. In fact, the visualization is showing a number of bicyclists behind me when in fact there is only one. I see four on the screen, five. Green light, we're going. All right, we have a stopped truck and it's signaled to go around the truck. It's doing it slowly and it's signaling to get back in the other lane. A little slower than I would like, but it actually made the right call and the right move. It signaled, it got over when it was safe, it moved around the slow vehicle, doing work on the road, and then it got back over before the intersection. So good job. Um, a little slower than I would like, but uh, it did make the right call. Um, I was impressed by that. So overall, I've been pretty impressed with this trip, other than the couple of navigation slip-ups right there toward the beginning. Um, it has hit a couple of, I guess, normal situations, but not normal of what you would expect. We had a bike, person on a bike, successfully went around that person, crossed the center yellow line briefly to give enough space. We had that work vehicle, and it handled both, I think, pretty darn well. Making our last major turn here very soon. Whoa, pulled that kind of hard. Not sure why it decided to give it the gas to that turn, but uh, it made it. And our destination is up here on the left. And will it actually pull into the parking lot? It actually says it might actually do that. Now turn left. So we are pulling into the parking lot. Still not doing anything. So something in the recent update, it seems to be adding turns into parking lots. The destination is on the right. And we are basically to the front door of where I needed to be and it is coming to a stop and just telling me that I just need to park myself. So could it get me door to door? The answer is 
almost, almost it could get me door to door. Couldn't get me out of the parking lot and it couldn't get me into my parking space. And aside from a couple of navigation hiccups, this car pretty much drove me from point A to point B. Um, this was an impressive drive, um, and I, I hope I'm hearing really good things about 10.69.3 that should make this even better. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate a like, and if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. We have videos like this and other types of videos coming out all the time. So until the next video, catch you later.